going to share with you my latest finds at the antique shop. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this row right here. It is a partial row of wheat pennies. It dates from 1940 all the way to 1917. So I'm hoping I can find some wheat pennies to fill some slots that I'm missing in my coin book. I also found this commemorative 1965 Elizabeth II coin. On the reverse, it has Sh Churchill. Now, the interesting thing about this coin is there were 9 million of these made, but that's a type 1. Those are the copper nickel ones. And there's also a type 2. The difference between this one and the type 2 is that the type 2 has a rainbow coloring to it. They only made a thousand of them, and so that makes them more valuable than this type 1. So I found that to be interesting, so I picked that up. I also found a lot of quarters, ranging in date from the 1940s. So I thought that was really cool with George the VI in front, 1945. The earliest year was in 1943. Then I found the next series, which was uh, started at 1959, 1960, 1964, and all of these are 65s. And let me get this one. This one has Queen Elizabeth in the front. Then I found 10 of the 1967, 1968 quarters. So those were really cool. And he threw in this dime. So I thought that was really nice of him. 1968 dime. Because he knows I like anything with sail ships or boats and stuff like that. So he threw that in. And of course it has on the obverse, if I can focus here, Queen Elizabeth II. So those were my Canadian pickups. My British pickups was this two shilling, George VI, 1941. And honestly, the only reason I picked it up is because it has G my initials, GR. So I really like that. I think I see a new sticker coming up. This one has the same thing, but it's 1942. So those were my two shillings. Then I picked up this one, also King George. But this one is a half crown, 1942. So well, let me put it the right way. There it is. I had it the wrong way. So that was really neat. And then I picked up some American. John F. Kennedy half dollars, 40 percenters. So that's all I was able to get on my last visit to the antique shop. I really hope you enjoy these coins. They're really nice finds. A little bit of silver doesn't hurt anybody. So until next time, take care, be safe, and happy hunting, everyone. Bye.